God seems to show up during our darkest and most hopeless times as a light showing us the path. In actuality, God has always been there. We just weren't looking. That brings us to my story. I didn't find God in a church or a parking lot revival. I found him in solitary confinement, a place more commonly known as the hole. The phrase found God isn't actually correct. However, because to find God implies that God was lost. It's us, sinners, who are the lost sheep. So the correct term should be, he found me. After years of running and hiding from him, I slammed right into him in prison. It was evening time in this hell on earth, tucked inside the massive compound. The jail was surrounded by fences and razor sharp barbed wire. I was beyond several steel doors and the general population pods deep inside the building through the long silent corridors. The hole was filled with murderers, rapists, mafia gang leaders, cop killers, drug cartel members, and your average violent antisocial maniac who can't be housed in general population pods because they were too vicious, too manipulative, or too powerful. I and others alongside me were housed in single cells, which means we had no cellmates. We were kept from one another like Siamese fighting fish. We each got one hour outside our cells twice a week, but still within the locked pot. It was the only time we could shower, shave, and use the payphone. We each took turns coming out on an hourly rotation. Two inmates were never out together because allowing contact could have been fatal. Rapists, child molesters, rival gangs, and rival drug dealers, as well as racists, were automatically targeted. We were fed three times a day through slots in the centers of our cell doors. My cell was built with a toilet and sink combination, a concrete table, a metal stool welded to the floor, and a concrete bed with a mattress thinner than my Bible. I had a limited view of the outside through a narrow piece of five inch glass. I seldom looked outside since my view was composed of a large fence, barbed wire, and sky. Through a control booth, officers monitored six different pods built into a circle around them. This monitoring system wasn't always successful, however, with so many pods and inmates to watch. Men found ways to hang themselves and not be discovered for hours. One of my friends did it before I was put in the hole. I still pray for his family and try not to think of the times we laughed and talked of the day we'd be free. That was before he was sentenced to life. That night, he called his family and said goodbye, walked to a cell and hanged himself. He was found dead the next morning. I am in no way encouraging suicide, but I can see how dark and twisted a mind can become in a place like the hole, where hope means nothing and the sane can quickly go insane. It is the belly of the beast, the gates of hell itself. Without God, there's no chance against Satan. This is Satan's playground, his games, his rules, and he plays for keeps.